So basically I was driving to work and I was thinking about the kiss table, the 1979 Bally kiss table specifically, um, and how it would play rock and roll all night, sort of in one note um, tones. And I was thinking to myself, how aesthetically and bizarrely unkissed that was as a choice, but it, it was a pinball table and that, that was the technology at the time. And I kind of started chuckling about it and I thought, what if I made a music table that was also trapped in time? Something from the late 70s, early 80s, kind of feel all 8-bit music and sounds. So basically after work, I went home and I grabbed a few beers out of the fridge and then went into the lab and opened up a, a completely blank uh, VPX table and started sort of sketching things out on a play field uh, with the concept of having a late 70s style in mind. Um, and I came up with something that I, I kind of kind of thought, yeah, maybe I'll keep that. Uh, and then as I picked at it through the coming weeks, um, I decided, you know what, I am going to keep this and I'm going to finish it. So this is actually a totally unplanned table. Um, I chose Sex Pistols as a theme so I could brightly color it, but the table is actually, technically, it's not a music ta uh, a band table, it's a, an album table. Um, so uh, this is it, the Nevermind the Bollocks uh, 1977 table, which has been heavily upgraded and modified by the owner. You can see it's got the the broken record player mod, the 1977 plastics on it, LED uh, spinner arrows, um, the Malcolm lights, uh, decals and some refacing on the, the actual play field, mixed with the five-year anniversary 1982 uh, ROM <laughs> featuring state-of-the-art music and sound effects, and I hope you guys are going to like it. Comes out Friday. Cheers, bye.